which is the only boat we have left. Ah! We sold Seahorse um, last Friday, which ironically was the day that we were meant to go on holiday. So Ian had booked two weeks off work and um, <laughs> we haven't got a boat to go in. So we've just been hanging around at home in England in the rain most of the time. Today is not raining, so we're off to um, Sun Pier in Chatham, which apparently you can tie up alongside. We've never done it before. And um, we're going to go to lunch in Chatham. <laughs> As you would have heard Hannah say, if you were paying attention, we've sold Seahorse, our Hansa 291 sailing yacht, that you'd have seen me doing the single-handed racing in, and us as a family having some great holidays over the last few years. But she's gone now, and the new owner has taken her down to port, so if you're one of our regulars and down that way, let us know how she's getting on. In the meantime, we've decided to take Pad Mellon, our wayfarer dinghy, upriver for a change, to Star Pier. We don't normally come up this way and have never tied up here before because if you go just a little bit further around the bend there's a bridge and you can't get under with a mast so there's not much incentive to come. But we thought we'd find out what this pier is like and Hannah and Elizabeth can take me to Spoons, a restaurant they love and I've never been there before. Go on then. Of us are still eating dinner. But. Yeah. This is my second dinner, but it's so yummy. <laughs> I had <have> Chinese. <laughs> was a great success. It's got the finest cuisine you'll ever get, basically an all-day buffet. But there's food from all over the world. So if you want a curry, you have a curry. If you want a Chinese, you have a Chinese. In fact, if you want anything, you just go up and help yourself. And you can have anything you like. If nothing else, it's excellent value for money and done the way we did it, quite a good adventure at the same time. Anyway, now we're off for another adventure to Who Island to do a bit more mudlarking. Island. Ian's gone one way, the girls have gone the other. So, um, Pad Melon is a ground, but it keeps floating off because the tide's coming in quite quick. So, we stuck a piece of wood in here because we forgot the anchor. We left it at home. <laughs> okay. Should be a nice sail back. <laughs> Get 
So we've found a few bottles so far. I'm looking for clay pipes as I always am. And Izzy and Jenny are also picking up plastic to clean the beach. Oh, looks like they found another bottle. If he's emptying something. Here comes Ian. Looks <laughs> like he's found quite good bounty. Oh wow, look what you've got. Yeah, that one's unmarked. I don't know what that is. That one's got uh, Born and Hillier Rochester on it. Wow. And that's another shipman's yeah. paste bottle and a brand new boat hook. I saw that It's almost hook. still got the price list on it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Blimey, We've you got loads of bottles. Yeah, I know. We've found bottles. The girls are up there collecting rubbish and bottles. <laughs> So that's it for another week. Even though we've sold Seahorse, we won't be giving up sailing. So you regular viewers, don't worry about that. The sailing will just be on different boats. And at the moment, on a value for money basis, you can't beat the fun we've been having with this dinghy. But with the end of summer coming and autumn on its way, won't be long before we get back into something a bit bigger.